Hello everybody. Today we're going to make three cards with one six by six piece of pattern paper. And to make it even more fun, all three cards are going to be fun fold cards. Here is the template that we're going to follow to cut our designer series paper. The first thing we're going to do is cut off this um, half an inch at the bottom. Then the next thing we're going to do is cut these one inch strips for card A. And then you're going to have this piece left and you're going to cut it in half. So you get two pieces that are four inches by two and three quarters. Okay, the scoring um, measurements are up here for each card. And we have the card size, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at one and a quarter and four and a quarter for card A. Card B is five and a half by eight and a half, scored by, or scored at two and an eighth and four and a quarter. And the next one is card C, four and a quarter by 11, scored at two and three quarters by five and a half. These measurements will also be down below the video so that you can reference them at any time. Our cards today are going to use the new in colors. We got Cinnamon Cider, Bumblebee, Magenta Madness, and the other two colors are Misty Moonlight and Just Jade. Okay, and these colors coordinate with the Flowers for Every Season pack. So we're going to use uh, one six by six sheet from this pack. In our card today, we're going to use Soft Suede Ink. We're going to use the Small Daisy Punch. We're going to use a little bit of our Polka Dot Tool Ribbon. We're going to use one stamp set. And that is the Peaceful Moments. That is out of um, the Poppy Suite, which can still be purchased in this catalog. It is a very good all-around set. And we're going to use one set of dies. And these are the Stitch So Sweetly dies. And they are fabulous. Okay, to cut our, our DSP, we're going to start with a 6x6 six six piece. We're going to cut off one half inch at the bottom. And that, this should be a half an inch right there. And we can use that to decorate the inside piece of the card. Then we're going to turn it this way. We've got um, basically five and a half inches and we're going to cut off two one inch strips. These are going to be used on card A. And then we're going to cut this, it's a four inch piece, and we're going to cut it in half. Okay, so it's at two and three quarters. Start with card A. Which I have pre-cut the pieces for. This is the card base that is scored with an inch and a quarter here and that's folded back it's also scored at the center which is four and a quarter i've decided to use just a little bit of tool ribbon to tie around there it's just tied in a double knot and i left some tails we're going to use the two one inch strips of dsp we're going to use one side each way and i'm going to start with this one helps if you open the snail Oops, now I got sticky all over the place. I should be using my craft mat. So these are the full length of the card. So we just center them, which leaves a little border on the side. And we're gonna put the other one down here. I was gonna make this a vertical card, but I've decided to go ahead and make it horizontal. Okay, for a sentiment on the front, I've decided to use two of those um, rectangles from the Stitch So Sweetly dies. So I'm going to use the soft suede ink on this card. I would use cinnamon cider, but I don't have that one yet, so I'm using soft suede. 
Okay, we're going to put thank you on the outside. And this piece is two and three quarters by four and three quarters. And I will put all the measurements down in um, the links if you click below the video. And this sentiment says you shouldn't have, but I'm glad you did. So I'm going to put that, hmm, I think I'm going to put it fairly low. Kind of crooked, but it will do. So then I'm going to layer these together. I'm going to put that quite a bit lower down here. And now I stuck my bow down. Okay, so then we're going to open the card. And you can tell this has already been used. What I should have done is leave a border on my layer there, but I think we'll just let that alone. Okay, so we have that in there. And I decided that looked kind of plain, so here are two of those little label shapes that we're just going to use as decoration. So, I mean, they're so pretty. And there is a thank you card for card number one. You know, the more I see that, I'm going to put another dimensional up there and close this up. And there, that way it's closed. So our next card, this would be card B. I've got my pieces cut here. We have our four by two and three quarters um, piece of DSP. I've cut a piece that's just a quarter inch bigger on both sides to layer under it. And then I've made these slightly smaller to go in the middle. So this is four by two and three quarters, same as the DSP, but this then is three and three quarters by two and a half. So, and then we've got one of those labels and some pretty daisies to decorate our card. So let's put it together. Anyway, let's make this a birthday card. Oops. We're going to put happy birthday on here. Wishing you every happiness this special day will bring on the inside. Well, I didn't do a real good job on that. But we're going to go with it. Should have been using the Stamparatus. Then you can stamp over it and it will be perfect. Then we're going to put this inside here. Centered inside our card. We're going to layer together our DSP, and we could use either side here, but I kind of like the stripes. And then this is going to get centered on top of here. I am planning to use dimensionals again. Okay, and I want to cover up my writing there, so that side's going to get stuck down. So. Okay, and this will cover, oops, a little bit higher, cover the piece we put on the inside since we made that a little bit smaller. Okay, we've made a happy birthday. I think I'm going to pop that up over here. And these pretty little daisies. I think we'll go like that. For those, I want to use a glue dot, if I can find where I use those. Well, I can't find it, so we'll just use snail. The glue dots, I would be assured that it would hold. And then I'm going to pop this one up. We're going to put a dimensional in the middle of that. And 
And truthfully, I think we need a rhinestone or a pearl in there, but we can put those on later. And here's card number two. Okay, now for card number three. For this card, I'm using the cinnamon cider, and I'm gonna use the back side of the paper. I've got a, I think it's a four by three and a half. No, four by, it's, no, it's three and three quarters by five piece to put inside. And we're just gonna center that. And I think we'll make this one, we did thank you and birthday, we'll go sympathy on this one. So let's put, with deepest sympathy as a sentiment. And again, all of these sentiments are from the same stamp set. So we have that. And on the inside we have, that's the wrong one, thinking of you with all my heart. Actually, that could have gone on the front also and with deepest sympathy inside, but I don't think it matters which way we go. So that's probably everything with the ink pad. Okay, on this card, I've left, I made that bigger. And so we can layer these pieces together. So instead of one piece that's a quarter inch bigger, I went with that one in white and this one in, um, and of course these I don't have the, so we have two and three quarters by four. This would be three by four and a quarter, and yes it is. And this would be four and a half, no, four and a half by three and a quarter. And then they will make perfect layers for our background. So we're gonna put these together. Okay, and then I'm gonna put the dimensionals again on this half. And the only reason I'm popping it up is because the dimensionals will hold that on there it's more secure than the snail. Glue would also work if you didn't want the dimension. But there we have our layers. I have a pretty daisy and a sentiment. Uh, let's pop up the sentiment too. I like popping stuff up. And I'm gonna pop up that daisy too. One of these baby dimensionals in will fit perfectly in the middle. And let's put that so there is card number three. So here's our three cards. We've got thank you. We've got with deepest sympathy, thinking of you with all my heart, and happy birthday, wishing you every happiness this special day will bring. Now, before I made those, these, I made three more that are even prettier. Here, this one says, wishing you every happiness this special day will bring. Use the same stamps and stamp set. Happy birthday. And that was card A. Let's see. I think this was card B. With deepest sympathy, thinking of you with all my heart. And I think this was card C. Happy birthday. Now, one thing I did with these cards is I trimmed this down just a little bit so that I could use the largest rectangle from those um, Stitch So Sweetly guys. And the rectangles really dress it up quite a lot. 